how to conjugate the regular Dutch verb in the present tense. Verbs are changeable entities. They change with different subjects, different tenses, different moods. This video will cover Dutch verbs in the present tense, or to be precise, the conjugation of the Dutch verb in the present tense. To conjugate a verb means matching the verb to the subject. For example, we say, I see, but she sees. It is the subject I, or she, that dictates the form of the verb. The good news is that the Dutch verb is not too complicated to conjugate, but there are some spelling rules to get to grips with. However, if you know the spelling rules for the verb, you know them for the entire language. So, we are killing several birds with one stone. Let's start with some basics. First, some technical talk. In this video, we distinguish between singular and plural forms of the verb and between first, second and third person. This is the table. So, the first person singular is ik. I, and the first person plural is wij, also known as we, and it's we in English. Also note that there are two versions of the second person singular you, jij or u. Jij is common, u is formal. Now let's look at what the Dutch verb looks like. Here are some examples of Dutch verbs. Heten, slapen, rennen, fietsen. You notice that they have one thing in common. They all end in EN. This EN ending applies to the vast majority of Dutch verbs. Let's get the plural forms out of the way first. So, wij, jullie, zij. Here is the rule. All plural forms of the verb are the same as the full verb. There is no exception to this rule. So, the verb for to ride a bike is fietsen. Let's conjugate it. We ride a bike, wij fietsen. You ride a bike, jullie fietsen. They ride a bike, zij fietsen. So, with the plural forms out of the way, let's look at the singular forms. For the singular, we first have to find the so-called stem of the verb. Once we have the stem, we add the ending. Rule. You add a T to the stem in all singular cases, except for first person. In case of ik, you just use the stem. So, ik is just the stem. Jij, when u, is stem plus T. Hij, zij, het, is stem plus T. But what is the stem of the verb? Here comes a rule. The stem is the full verb without the en. That's very simple when you just say the words. For example, the verb kopen has the stem koop. The verb holle has the stem hol. Just chop off the en ending. However, when you have to write them down, we have to take a few spelling rules into account. And it's worth flagging up that Dutch is quite logical and consistent when it comes to spelling. So follow the rules and you will get the correct answer. Let's go stem finding and ending sticking. I will distinguish three types of verbs that require slightly different stem finding methods and one bonus category. Here come the three types. The jazz category for verbs that have a double consonant. The VCV category, for verbs that have the pattern vowel, consonant, vowel. And the don't touch me category, for the verbs that do not fit in any of the other categories. All these categories render a stem ready to take our endings, or not, in the case of ik. Let's start with the jazz category. Examples of verbs that fall in this category are holen, trekken, zitten, klappen. What these verbs have in common is the doubled consonant, so the same consonant twice before the en. 
So in this case, double L, double K, double T, etc. Let's find the stem for hollow. First, we drop off the EN at the end. We are left with a stem that ends in a double consonant, like jazz. But, and here comes the rule, Dutch words never ever end in a double consonant, so the same consonant twice, except jazz. And of course, jazz is a loan from English. So, after chopping off the EN, we get whole, but the double L is against the spelling rules, so all we have to do is chop off one of the consonants, making the stem of holle, whole. We have found a stem, so now all we have to do is add a T to that stem, but only for second and third person, making it ik hol, jij holt, hij holt. Uh, but wait a minute, what about verbs like zitten? So a verb with a stem that ends in a T. With zitten, we start as normal, so chop off the EN, zit, doubled consonant, so drop a T, to get the stem zit. Now add the endings where necessary. Jij zit, hij zit, oh no! The double consonant rules kicks in again, so, and here's another rule, do not add a T if the stem already ends in a T. So the spelling rules always supersede the conjugation rule. Let's go to the next category, the VCV category. Examples of verbs that fall into this category are praten, heten, horen, huren. What they share is the same pattern, namely a single A, E, O, U, followed by a single consonant before E, N. We call this the V, C, V category, vowel, consonant, vowel, and note that the first vowel is a single A, E, O, U, and not part of a compound vowel, like the U, as in push. See what happens here. Take the verb heten. First we chop off en and you end up with het. But we need the longer sound, heten. So in order to keep the same sound in the stem and the full verb, we double the vowel, het. So here comes the rule. In a VCV verb, you double the a, e, o, u in the stem. Let's do one more VCV verb. Spelen. Knock off EN. Spell. But this is a VCV verb, so we want to maintain the long sound, so we double the E. Speel. Which then becomes ik speel and jij speelt and hij speelt when you add the T. Let's go to our final category. Don't touch it. Niks meer aan doen. If the verb doesn't fall into the first two categories, it falls into this one. For example, the verbs werken, fietsen, vliegen. Just like in all other cases, we start by taking off the en, leaving us with werk, fiets, vlieg. And this is where we stop. Don't touch it. Because werk, fiets and vlieg is the stem and we don't need to add or change anything. So, ik werk, jij fietst, hij vliegt. And finally, there is our bonus or top-up category, the VZFS category. Verbs fall into this bonus category when the last letter before EN is a Z or a V. An example is verhuizen or Leven. First we need to check which main category the verb falls in. Let's take verhuizen. This verb does not have a doubled consonant in the middle and it's not a VCV situation, so it sits in the don't touch it category, which means that all we have to do is drop off EN. Now here comes a general rule. Dutch words never end in a Z or a V. At the end of a stem, a Z changes into an S, and a V changes into F. 
Zo, let's take verhuizen. Chop off the en. Verhuis. Z changes into s. So the stem of verhuizen is verhuis. Ik verhuis. Jij verhuist. Finally, look at leven. First, we find the verb category. This is a clear VCV verb. The single E before the single consonant. So that means we have to double the vowel in the stem. This, the single E becomes a double E. So, leven. Chop off EN. Becomes lev. Need to double it. Leef. Aha. V at the end of a word doesn't work. So, V changes into F. The stem of leven is leef. Now at the endings. Ik leef, jij leeft, hij leeft. For good measure, let's look at all the subject options. Ik leef, jij leeft, u leeft, hij, zij, het leeft. And the plural, remember the plural is always the full verb. Wij leven, jullie leven, zij leven. So this is how you conjugate the Dutch verb in the present tense. Let me end with a piece of advice and some reassurance. First, a piece of advice. When you start conjugating the verb, take your time to identify which category the verb falls into, so which spelling rules apply. Then apply the rules, follow the steps carefully, et voila. Then, some reassurance. After a while, you will begin to recognize what the conjugated verb looks like. You develop a, a word picture. By that time, these rules and categories will appear like a distant tune, a song from the past.